guys my name is Ravi and you are welcome to my youtube channel easy way to learn today in this video i am going to explain you how to extract data from a pdf and store those information into a excel okay so to do that activities i am going to use a rpa tool automation anywhere so let me show you the pdf first okay so let me go to the folder if you see here i am having five pdf so let me open and I'll show you the details okay if you see here like we're having some information like company name invoice number customer name and etc etc so I want to extract some information okay which is required okay so what I'm going to do if you see other PDFs also there are same information available in all the PDF okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to store those informations from PDF to Excel so these are the field or the column name which I am going to extract from the PDF okay so let me go to automation any and we'll, we'll start the step by step uh, things okay. so click on new and I'm going to use the task editor to perform these activities okay. so next step is I have to open the Excel where I want to extract the information I mean store the information okay so I'm going to use open spreadsheet and I'm going to select the path where my Excel is stored. Okay. So uh, my Excel name is build data. If you see this is totally uh, blank. Okay. So let me open. Okay. Here we are having some other informations also like uh, specific seat name. I don't have any specific seat name uh, in that Excel. So I'm not going to check this box. However, I am having the headers. So I'm going to check this uh, contains header field. Okay. Next is what like uh, I want to read all those PDF. Okay. So it could be like uh, currently I'm using five PDF. It could be 500 or 200 also. So to do that, I'm going to use a loop. Okay. So let me go to loop command and I'm going to use each file in a folder. Okay. Once I click here, here what I have to give, I have to select the path from which uh, folder I want to read the files. Okay. So next is save. Okay. So let me open that uh, Excel once again because I have to create some variable. Whatever data I want to extract from PDF to Excel, for that I have to create a variable in Automation Anywhere to store the data. Okay so to create a variable you have to go to variable manager and there you have to click on add so here my first variable is invoice number okay. let me save okay we cannot put any space so let me remove the space once i click on save it will ask uh, like you are assigning the null value here we are not giving anything so at the time of extracting the information we will put the information so we'll go with the yes so next is customer name we will add here customer name and we'll go for save so same thing i have to do for other uh, columns also So almost done. Fine. We have done with the variable uh, creation part. Let me create another variable called count. I will explain you why I am using this variable. Okay. Let me save. So next step is to extract the information from PDF. We have to use the command called PDF integration. If you see here, we have so many informations available like PDF to image, extract form, field, extract text. So in this scenario, we are going to use the extract from the field because my all the PDFs are in same format and the information, whatever I'm going to extract is present in the same place for all the PDF. So let me select one PDF to uh, show you how to extract the information. Okay. So I have selected the PDF one. 
next is I have to click on add once you click on add you will get uh, this type of uh, window so what you have to do here you have to select the information which you want to extract okay so here I want to extract the invoice number okay so I will click here once you click right click and add to field so it is not taking all the information so we have to select it properly now okay the values are coming here so we'll give that invoice number so you can put invoice number the variable whatever we have created just now we have to assign these values to there so I have selected here invoice number the next is customer ID okay, customer name I have selected the customer name and again right click add and we will put customer name the same thing here I have to assign this value next we will go with the customer ID right click okay we'll put cast id and same thing here the next is address see guys it could be any kind of pdf but uh, if the pdf is in same uh, format and your data is available in the same structure then you can go with uh, this uh, extract text option okay so here i have with the address and I will select the V address variable. The next is the phone number. I'm going to extract the due date. The next. This is the last uh, information I'm going to extract. Just like payment mode, and we'll select here uh, payment term. Okay. Now it's done. What we have to do? We have to click on save. Once you click on save, you can see here like it has already like automatically extracted those column details and all so now if you see here we have extracted the information for PDF one if you see that folder we are having many uh, PDF available inside the folder if I run this program what robot will do or the board will do it will read only this PDF within this loop so what I'm going to do I'm going to change the path and the extension by using the system variable okay so I'm going to do these things to do that you have to click on F2 and select the system variable called file name okay dot you have to put the extension we'll give the extension okay so next it's done you have to click on save okay now I'm going to use a variable operation to uh, use that V count why I'm going to do that if you see in this Excel we are having uh, like uh, I mean we are having five PDF so it will field data till here okay so that uh, V uh, count whatever we have created that will help to go to next column okay so let me go to variable operation okay what I have to do I have to select the V count from here next i have to select the system variable called counter uh, put plus one so you can add data automatically okay the next thing i have to do is i have to read the data and store in a excel okay so to do that i have to go to again excel command 
and I will use the set cell command okay here so here what I have to do I have to select the specifics uh, now first I have to go to set cell and I have to go to active cell the next is what I have to do So next things I'm going to use a command called set cell okay so let me uh, drag and drop here okay I have to put specific cell here I have to put a if you see here like invoice number is in column a so we'll put a and here we use a count okay a variable count b count and from here I have to select that variable name for invoice number okay so similarly I have to do these things for other variables also so here I have to change to B and I have to select the next variable it's like customer ID first it will be customer name then customer id so let me delete this customer id customer okay. first it will be customer name so let me change to C is my customer ID. Okay. Next is my address. So column D is having address. Next is the phone number. Due date. Okay, SPF. Salesperson and payment time. And here, and the next is salesperson. It's done now. Now, what I have to do, I have to save the excel sheet and I have to close it ok so it's almost done now it's time to uh, run and check whether it is running fine or not I have to click on save it keeps a meaningful name like uh, pdf automation I click on save let me close the excel save and close so let me run and we'll see it is working fine or not. It's 
see guys how fast it is filling the information and uh, extracting from the PDF so this is the one of the easy uh, way to do this type of uh, extraction data extraction from the PDF I would request every each and everyone to uh, please uh, share your views and your comment in case of any questions please go ahead and I would request you to kindly uh, subscribe my channel so I can create uh, more videos based on automation anywhere or based on the RPA or request. Thank you very much uh, for uh, your time and watching this video. Thank you.